Hello guys, Keep Right On TV here, back for yet another video. Before we get into today's video, let's see if we can hit 200 likes. And if you haven't already, make sure to smash uh, a sub because um, we hit 3K um, like a day or two ago. So it'd be massively appreciated if you could help us on the road to 4,000 subscribers. So yeah, it finished at Ashton Gate, Bristol City new, uh, Neil, sorry, Birmingham City 2. Now, now that's back-to-back -back wins to start the season. Three games played, two wins and one draw. Seven points accumulated from a possible nine and we sit in third place in the championship table now. If it wasn't for conceding that goal late on against Swansea on the opening day, we would be top, I'm not too sure about the goal difference, but we would actually be joint top with Ipswich Town if it wasn't for that late goal conceded at Swansea. But yeah, enough about that. What a performance yet again. And what a win. A clean sheet as well. Three points against Bristol City, who beat us 4-2 in, in February um, last season. Getting onto the lineup, we had Ruddy in between the sticks. It was an unchanged team from the game against Leeds. Ruddy in goal. Sanderson Long as the two centre-backs. Lou Buchanan as the left-back. Ethan Laird as the right-back. Sunic and Bielik as the two in the middle. Then we had Dembele... Um, Bakuna, Anderson and then we had Scott Hogan up top. Now the first like 40 minutes or so I thought Blues were you know we didn't really like create an, that much of um we wasn't that threatening but we was creating the more chan was creating more chances than Bristol City. Um, I thought Dembele yet again was absolutely brilliant even though he played only like 40 minutes he he come off of course um, but well we had an injury to Ethan Laird that means uh, that meant that um, Yoshi had to come on for him. Obviously, he didn't play in the same position. I don't think anyway. Um, so yeah, we took Dembele off, and then we brought on uh, Miyoshi. and then of course even Lev was um, yeah injured. So um, yeah, we took the lead. What a goal from Miyoshi! I was calling for him to start this game on my match preview on the volley, top corner goalkeeper. You're not saving that. Eat your, eat your heart out. But yeah, half time comes. We're one nil up. The likes of Jordan James come on. We make a few, um, you know, sa uh, I don't know how to um, you know explain it really. You know, I'm, I'm really excited because we won the game. We made like a few changes to the formation because of course we lost Ethan Led. Obviously, that's obviously going to be a big loss for us if he is out. If he's out for like the next couple of games. But yeah. Um, Jordan James, I thought Jordan James actually did, actually did really well to be fair and he actually um, was fouled, he, he was on the counter attack and he was fouled, second second booking, Bristol City were down to 10 men, they didn't actually offer anything really, I mean they had one clear cut chance, the ball was whipped in across the box and I don't know how he was, I don't know how he missed, free, he was actually free, I don't know what the defence was doing but yeah we was very lucky to get away with that, but yeah we wrapped the game up Ivan Sunic, by the way, big shout out to him. Yet again, three games in a row now, he's been absolutely exceptional, not putting a single pass wrong. And he gets the assist for Lukas Jukovic's goal, and we win the game 2 0. Jukovic, by the way, scores back to back in back to back games. Our best start to the season since 2008. It's a bit of a shame, though, that Ethan Laird has picked up another injury. He got injured against Swansea, didn't, uh, Swansea, didn't he? So, is that a cause for concern? Maybe you have to dip into the transfer market to find like a, a backup to him? I don't know, but our best start to the season, like I said, since 2008, we're up to third place in the championship table. Yes, I know it's early on. We were top of the league after two games last season, but the defence, the passing, yes, we might not have like that clinical striker yet, but Mayashi and Dembele have been absolutely exceptional for the new for this new blues team and it's a revolution an absolute revolution we've gone to bristol city a difficult game and beaten them 2-0 comfortably they had one big chance in the game and i'm actually i'm just so so delighted we've got our club back this is this is the new blues this is just the start and i'm absolutely ecstatic i've been waiting for this for so long now and finally Finally, I can do videos on the channel, match reviews and previews, feeling really upbeat. Anyway, it's been Keep It On TV, make sure to like, share and also subscribe to the channel. Let's see if we can get 200 likes, like I said. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thanks for watching as always, guys. And uh, yeah, keep right on. Come on.